And Anyone of Fish is back, episode 10. Before we introduce today's guest, today's episode is brought to us by McGowan's Fitness. Best PT in, I'm going to say, Western Scotland. Can I say a wee bit about McGowan's Fitness, Jordan? About McGowan's Fitness, he's carved me for a body lit. <laughs> Susan Boyle into <laughs> what you've got here. <laughs> Black is slimming as well, but obviously he's got a, a big he's got a big hands for face and a baldy head and he's he's good at making you lift weights and that so is that a small boy you're doing, eh? A small boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just before we day, go into our guest's story is uh Stevie's no ways for a wee bit he's away getting his he's his hair and his teeth done in Turkey. <laughs> so we've got a a guest. It's your Tierney boy. What's happening, mate? How are you getting on? Aye, doing well, mate. A lot good to have you, man. Life, a lot of changes, man. Aye, good to have you on board. Thanks for inviting me, guys. I appreciate it. So Glad to have you. You are? Glad to it's have you. It's going to be doing to you tonight, mate. We're just going to sit back and I'll get on. Today's guest, Lewis Wilson, <laughs> excited about this. TikTok, brilliant. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, thanks very much. How Honestly, are you getting on? I, absolutely ideal. Do you know, I'm not a nervous person, but in the taxi or here for the train station, I was like, oh my God, I'm quite shit myself now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I feel dead relaxed. She's a show body welcome. Do you know what I mean? I bought me a half bottle, you know? <laughs> so that's fucking ideal. Do you know? But I, I'm up. excited and I can't wait to see what, what chats we come up with. Like, How's life you treating know? you? Um... <sighs> it has been difficult, obviously, these past couple of months. Really, really, really difficult, massively. Um, obviously, majority of people that know me knows that I lost my mum and then I lost um, one of my best pals. And it has been really difficult. And I said to myself before I came on here, I said, I'm not going to get upset because my mum would never want that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She would never, ever want that. But it has. It's been fucking horrific. Mm. And I don't want to go into too much detail about mm. the last couple of days that I spent with my mum on her journey for the cancer because it's just for me and the family and you know aye, aye. but aye it has been it's no nice and I don't wish it my worst enemy so if you've got your mum still wear you hold her very very tightly and just appreciate every single day because you just don't know what's mm -hmm. coming around the corner do you know what I mean yeah. like when we first get tell obviously about my mum it was like a frozen shoulder she had mm -hmm. and then she had like um, kidney stones and mm -hmm whatever and then they've done like um, biopsies and stuff and it came back saying that obviously she had cancer and whatever and one minute they said they could do this and the next they said they couldn't and then within the best part of fucking eight weeks that was it so it happened very 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 quickly do you know what I mean and obviously it, at the end she was in the St Andrews Hospice for four days um, in Airdrie and my pal obviously was in there and all like Alison mm -hmm. um, she's got seven wings it's heartbreaking so I was literally getting in there I was spending the majority of my time in the hospice with my mum and then I was going on to see Alison like every time I would be out for a fag right. that I'd pop in and see Alison um, but my mum she went before Alison and then Alison actually went the day my mum was through the Northern North so it all just fucking happened that quick I don't know what I mean uh, life's got a funny oh, way God, of testing man isn't it like, just, just pile it on you I, and do you know the weirdest thing is to because it was like I think it was about five months ago now actually come back home because mm -hmm. Alison's mum had contacted me saying, look, listen, um, she's not doing very good. I think it's best you come back up and see you, whatever, for England. And I did. And I can mind sitting there and the old wains were there and that and they were all heartbroken and that. And I said to myself, do you know what? I never, ever think that I could be able to deal with that. Like, I would never be able to deal with seeing my mum in that right. condition like that. Mm -hmm. And then literally, boom, two weeks later, I hear about my mum and then I had to come back up the road for that. Yeah. Just fucking absolute nightmare if you ask me. But right. the support that I've had for my pals, family, my work, mm -hmm. it's just been astronomical, to be honest with you. And strangers as well, like, you know, I've got the following and whatever, right. random messages here and everybody's different stories. And it's just been lovely. It's been nice to hear other people's stories because I said to myself, like, mm -hmm. why is this happening to me? But it's, right. it's not just happening to right. me, it's happening to quite a lot of people do you know yeah. what I mean I think we'd see we'd see we let us doing this as well like, you know, it's, and obviously you're doing your funny videos and like Sir Tierney you're doing your your motivational videos mm -hmm. as well so even you, you feel as if you've got a purpose and you're kind of through you're getting people to laugh ah, exactly and if, I don't know it just it may, makes you feel like a wee bit of, a wee bit of worth in it like. aye d definitely um, and especially like 
I was talking to this woman as well, and she says to me, she's like, you've not been posting as much on social media. And I'm like, no, I can't. She says, because I'm that used to making everybody else happy and smile right, and laugh right, and whatever. And I've just never really heard that, to be honest. Like, when I watch videos, like, I, I don't laugh. Right, like, right. I don't like see even watching mine videos. I, right. I, I cringe like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't stick them. No. Cannot stick the sound of my voice. Right. And see, that's podcast we're doing the now. Mm -hmm. I'll not watch this until, like, three weeks. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll honestly I that's the, honestly literally I'll not watch I hate the sound of main voice no. I hate my own content but I know others love it so that's why I keep should doing you give yourself some I mean? credit though right. like, no. see, <sighs> see, all the, see all the comments when we put a video up over mm. episode 10 coming the amount of people are saying oh I can't wait for that the amount no. of people that's messaged me or see me in the street and says oh my god we can't wait mm. for it so you're bringing joy into a lot of people's Aye. lives man see how now you say why, why is this happening to me right mm. what you should really be thinking is what's this teaching me Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. It's no why me because every time you bring that sort of energy to you, mm -hmm. you're bringing a lot of negativity. Uh, exactly. So aye. when it's mm -hmm. and never speak ever yourself, mm -hmm. always make sure. And you have, you can see you're a very confident person. Aye. aye. You know what I mean? And it's all about loving yourself. And the more you love yourself, the easier life becomes. Mm. And a lot of folk don't like people like that because they seem to think it's arrogant or um, else. Exactly. As well. But the more aye. you love yourself, the more people that are negative around about you mm -hmm. will start moving away mm -hmm. from you. Do you know what aye. I mean? But it's never why is this happening. Right. It's, what's it teaching me? Man, that's definitely a good bit of advice there. Mm -hmm. That is. Do you think confidence is natural to you? I mean, I watch your videos no. and it just looks as if it's running off your tongue and it's just no really. Going with the flow. See, it's, 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 like I've got ADHD. I don't know if you already know that, right? right. And people have, have an ADHD. You're dead hyperactive all the mm, time, right. and you're bringing stuff that was, but it's no. Same you're high and same you're low. You're fucking low, and I mean you are low. Yeah, Do right. you know what I mean? And obviously because the job I'm in, like. Obviously, Holiday Park Entertainer, you constantly need to be right. smiley. Oh, hello, everyone. How are we getting on? And whatever. And this did bubbly, really enthusiastic, mm -hmm. you know, high energy. But see, as soon as I come off that stage and get backstage, the, everybody knows it oh. when I'm having a bad day. Some days I'm wild backstage before mm -hmm. I go on stage. Mm -hmm. And in other days, I'm really, really struggling. And it's no, I'm not saying, I'm not depressed, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't know if this grievance part is a, a bit of depression for me. I don't know. I've not really, it's still very raw. I've not really thought about it too much. But I definitely think, obviously, sometimes I can be really, really shy. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really shy. And I know that's quite hard to uh, understand. Like, see, even going to shops and stuff. Uh, like, my best pal, Kirsty, right? And we had all the fucking time. Like, see, even going to Tesco. And if I need to run in for what fucking hairspray or whatever, mm -hmm. she needs to come with me. And if she doesn't come with me, that's it. I will not go into Tesco. Right. And that, for me, is it's a bit of anxiety as well. Right. But I'm a, I can be very, very shy. Sometimes I really, really can. And the day I'm surprised at myself how I'm actually so confident the day mm. with three guys that no. I've never met in my life. Right. Sure. I mean, don't keep it right, you've all been really, really right. welcome. I'm cracking guys, whatever. But I, I'm i not always this confident. I do have highs, I do have deaths. Yeah, I noticed lows. that in your video. I watched the one, I was going to do my work today, and I watched your podcast on the way down with the one in the motor. And you could see you could see the anxiety in that. Do you know? You could pick up mm -hmm. an anxiety, even when you were speaking. That's one thing. I, uh, I messaged I Jordan straight away. I said, you can see the anxiety through him mm -hmm. talking there. Mm -hmm. He's shown confidence, but you can see the anxiety as well with him sitting with that camera in front of him. You could see it. That see, see, when my family watched it, like my mum and my dad and whatever, um, I never watched it for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I did watch it, like I, I was watching it back and I'm like, ah, I was very anxiety. Like oh. my, my head was doing overtime. And I don't know why, because... Mary, she was what, lovely, honest she? to God, you would need to meet her. Like, she is a heart of gold, that woman. Aye. But I think it's the initial thought of like everybody's seen what course, you're talking aye. about. Do you know what I mean? Is that the biggest kind of personal stuff as well? Is that the biggest like, kind of exposure you've had? Like obviously your, your TikTok, but the No. Because what I mean is in like terms of your TikToks, it's just like maybe like a minute long, it's a snippet. Mm. But with that, that was you laid bare. Do you know what aye, I mean? so, so there's no there's no much editing going into it, there's no stop and starting. It's just raw. And it's made your I mean? life, though. You're not really talking about like, the way you do your funny videos and that. You're actually getting into some deeper. Aye. Which can then, that's when you end up in your own heat. Because exactly. you're getting into, that's when mm -hmm. you start overthinking Aye. stuff. Because mm -hmm. you're sitting, I remember when I first went into my podcast with the guys, mm -hmm. you don't realise how much you get into your own heat mm -hmm. when you're talking about stuff you don't tell people about. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I went through my, my journey and spoke about what happened to me in a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. But then that's when all the thoughts start coming into your head and you yeah. start questioning what you're saying. Definitely. And that's yeah. when you don't want to watch it back. You're saying to yourself, I can't remember 
what I said on that podcast, mm. but it just all happens in a fucking an instant, do you know what I mean? Aye. So you're then the anxiety, and that's where I could see the anxiety with you. And the biggest part of the anxiety was when you spoke about the McDonald's. About you were up on the pal. stage, you could be a thousand of people and you're mm -hmm. happy up there because you're in your own bubble and you're in your own space. Aye. And the minute you went into that McDonald's, your safe base got broke. Aye. It was bad. And there's only 15 Aye. people, but it still put you Aye. into that state where, right, you are mm -hmm. in my bubble here, do you know Aye. what I mean? And I was... Uh, that was and you know it's so weird you say that there too because see now I, I hadn't a thought about that for a long time but when I think back to that that was that, a big thing uh, that really 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 was that that day was terrible uh, like my pal Alistair was just stood there and he was like what the fuck day, yeah. like <laughs> what, what what do you actually do and it was in Wish McDonald's and do you know how you've got the palladium so we fucking click uh, right uh, I was basically uh, fucking stoning right up against so it and it was, everybody was about me uh, and the wee woman behind the counter was like game game space uh, game space and she actually came out she had a fucking mop her horn <laughs> do you know what I mean no, no it hit them or anything like that, but she was doing her job and she realised what the fuck and she just came out with the mop uh, and I'm oh thanks very god I don't know I only bad to my fucking sandwich <laughs> do you know what I mean the chickens are like me yeah um, well honestly god um, that, was, that was quite scary for me and uh, um, I've not really experienced something as bad as that ever since then. Mm. Like, it doesn't matter where I go. Like, when I get off the train there, there was a few people that obviously noticed me and I was like, well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And that doesn't bother me, but see when they're getting right up in the space, oh. ah, that fuck me, man, that... like Aye, basically, my... that's your safe space. Exactly. When they can start coming to that area, that's when... It's, it's fight or fight, of course. Yeah, you know what I mean? PTSD watch, it's actually Aye. fight or fight, mm. you know what I mean? Because they're coming into something Aye. you don't want them running about. Aye, and see the hang as see if it was... See if I was full of the drink and I had a leather, a leather bottle. I'd fucking, <laughs> honestly, God, I'd swing each and every one of them out like an empty track. I really, honestly, would. But see, because... I was sober and I'm like, oh my God, these these people like my Getting videos. They know me yeah. for my and videos. I can't be rude to you them. Actually, you actually seen them all at the end, one by one. I did. And I did. So I got my so order amazing. and I went outside with Alistair and I did and I spoke to each and individual one of them. Mm -hmm. That shows strength and character and that, you know well I mean? and made you feel like that. Aye. That shows complete utter strength that you've done that mm. at the end of that, do you know what I mean? It was a lot to do that right enough, do you know what I mean? But It's hard to explain this to people that don't, don't suffer that as well. Aye. People don't get how how hard it is or how, how much a shell you're going to act and it's not because I don't want to spend money I thought you said and no, you see, like, like, see like going to a bar or something like that <laughs> when I meet you I hate in my back to everybody and I can't explain it to people I hate yeah, just, knowing all these people are steaming behind me right. and automatically I turn around and I'm, I'm half expecting mm -hmm. fucking Something everybody wrong. be standing there waiting to fight with me and it's, nobody even cares mm -hmm. but know. it's hard you're like to people I can't tell you how that feels at that moment in time I just can't do it See, I'm, pr I'm probably, I don't know if you're the same as me, but when I get a drink in me, I'm just, I, I couldn't care. No, no it's not, it's, I, I don't, I mean it the first initial, so. Aye. Well, look at the statement when I was steaming the last time, I was, it was one about the booze on my tap bath and everybody just left me alone. Aye. That's what I mean, but nobody's interested, but I think everybody Aye, is. Everybody is. Yeah, when, you're no, when you've not got a drink in you, you think everybody's wanting mm. to it talk about it. It depends what sort of mindset you're in as well, do you know what I think? Because I... I kind of stop going out because of that, that situation because sometimes when you do get into pubs, there's no somewhere safe you can storm your aye, pubs. Aye. So I'll say to my mates, like, I'm not going in there, not up with it. I says, I can't storm anywhere. Yeah, I what do you mean? Same with the gym. You know I mean? See, I'd uh, see like JD gym, I know you're training there. I, I just so open, man. There's just people walking about banging into you and I'm just yeah. like, oh, this is freaking me out. So that's how I put my headphones in, it shuts that noise mm. out. I actually so listen to meditations and shamanic drums when I'm training and I just zone out. Honestly, I've been listening to classical music, <laughs> Jim, and I'm not kidding on. It's working, mate. It works, it's working. It's whatever. Because it, we're beings of vibration, like you're right? Cracking we're beings of frequency. Mate. And frequencies, like, like music's got different frequencies, like your rap music, that's all bad frequencies that's in these musics. So it's your shamanic drums, classical music, oh, it's got a nice frequency that keeps you calm. Aye, so what do you do with frequencies? I know, I was telling half, half my doctor that you need to stop listening to Metallica, you know what I mean? It's just not doing any good. No, no. Oh my <laughs> God, I couldn't imagine. You just think that's getting you up for an atmosphere in the gym and it's not, it's just winding your head up. But I'm right in there classical now. Especially if you're into the hangman and it's putting your head further. Barbara Savile and all that, mate. I'll tell you, it's tuned last about eight minutes. Is that tuned? It doesn't matter. We're not going to anyway. Does anybody know Little Mix? I know. I'm not fucking clear. I don't like classical music. It's just one direction. It just calms me down a bit in the gym. It helps, man. You use it. I know. And there's no slagging in it because if it helps you, you use it. No, I definitely agree. Like music does play a massive big part in your mm -hmm. mood like I could like see people they listen to like, your drum and bass your techno and all that and it puts me in a good mood I fucking put a day alone and I'm loving life no, do you know what I, I mean like but that's just me do you know what I mean mm -hmm. and it is a big massive part of your mood now 
people hadn't listened to like certain songs or don't listen to that, that's sad. Aye. But sometimes that, like the, listening to the actual lyric and the word in the song. It's like, got meaning to you. It, it definitely, Aye. do you know what I mean? So I can relate mm. to sadder songs. Aye. And Aye. that makes me more happy than fucking Club Aye. Band, do you know what I mean? Do you know how you pure indulge your sad? Let's see if you're feeling like a wee bit of shit, but you pure indulge your sadness, you put the sad songs out or don't you? You pure... I did it all the time. I put myself in there. No, when you left a CD, when you gave me a shot of your car to go to work, and you left a CD in it, it was like it was the worst. It was like Chris Brown and it was the other one. No, it was. I thought I'll listen to it the whole way. I'll get a shot. I'll get because my my pal Kev, he's like mate. There's no such thing as bad music. It's just different tastes in music. I thought right. No, man. It's not like R and B. I don't mind R and B, but the stuff you had. No, it was just weird. It was. I don't know. I couldn't tell you anybody. Like our rap music. Our rap, the, the PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. <laughs> um, oh, God. It was just weird. And it, it just summed you up at that point. Cause... How do you think I feel when I'm telling guys for Glasgow at me? How do you stay calm when I tell them about shamanic drama? <laughs> I know, I nearly burst out laughing when you said it. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? You've got to fucking you know I mean? talk to guys in Glasgow <laughs> like, watch. Does it fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're a chubby, you can't. Yeah, no, shamanic I was wanting, drums. Well, I was wanting to know, obviously, you're, you kind of get recognised like, everywhere you go. Aye. Um, have you had any negative kind of experiences? Oh my geez. Like, um, um, a few times, do you know what I mean? Like I'm actually just trying to currently look for my vapes. I'm a bit unsociable. No, do you know good. what I mean? But I'll answer the question first. Uh -huh. So I get more negative online than I do, like obviously on the streets mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? But I will tell you this, this story. And it was at um, Skegness where I work. Mm -hmm. And one of the pubs down there. Um, and there was one of the guys that worked in the bar. I'll mention his name because um, I don't do that. You know, but... <laughs> He said something to me, and I can't actually remember what it was. He said it was one of my pals that turned around and says, Lewis, that guy's just called you a homophobic slur or something. Uh, like. I can't remind what it was, but see, that it doesn't bother me. But see, because I was that full of the drink, I'm uh, like, no, fuck this. And it kept playing on my mind mm, all night. Uh, and I waited and I waited until that pub shut, because I'm always the last one out of the pub, and I'm still currently bad for you. The pub. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm mad. It's, it's, do you know what? And it has. It's no. caused a lot of arguments that no, it really no, has. No. And um, so basically what happened is there's the pub, right? And there's loads and loads of steps. Mm -hmm. There's hundreds of steps. So it's like basically up a kind of hill. Mm. Um, so we went out at the, the tapia and I've been smoking a fag in that and he kept saying and kept saying me hangs and whatever. And he was with this group of guys and I wasn't bothered. I wasn't mm. giving a fuck. I'm, if I'm getting laid, I'm getting laid. Do you know what I mean? I'll take my square go regardless. Aye. I don't give a shit. So I've been all to the thing, mate. And I didn't even need a lighter. I just done it to be snide. Aye. So I don't know if I was, do you know what I mean, trying to nip at him to get a, another reaction. So I've mm -hmm. got a light and he kept saying, no, fuck off, fuck off. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, who the fuck's this cunt talking to? Mm -hmm. So his taxi pulled up and as he was walking down all these stairs, I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I says, fuck this. I went to my pal, I says, no, no. <laughs> So as he's been in the taxi, I fucking ragged all the way outside this taxi. <laughs> and I'm like, no, he is not going to away with that, right? And all the bar staff for the bar, they're all coming down, fucking mm -hmm. their own tappy me, uh -huh. trying to get me off and whatever. No assaulting me or hurting me, just uh -huh. trying, trying to, to defuse the situation. Mm -hmm. So they've managed to get me in the taxi and the taxi's been taking ages to leave and I'm fucking in the windy. <laughs> I'm like, you're fucking me bastard. I'm like, don't ever, ever, ever. Uh, ever do mm -hmm. that to me ever again do you know uh, what I mean how fucking rude do you know what I mean what, because I'm prancing about here dancing to uh, fucking Shania Twain wearing a bit of makeup you don't think that I'm not going mm, to swing you about exactly. get to fuck exactly. do you know what I mean and he phoned my work and everything mm, nice. and that put my obviously my job on the line but I explained to my work I was like look this well, is what's happened right. and uh, then that well um, at the end of the day it's snow in the workplace so no, you can't get done for it like that. He's, he started trying to bully you, right? Exactly. You've defended yourself, and then because you've defended yourself, made them look stupid, he then goes and grasps into work. Aye. This is all the negativity. This Aye. is why, see, even, even on TikTok, mm -hmm. I, and he's no idea TikTok's all the time. very toxic. Oh, see right. the amount of ones, and I've got a positive page, right? And mm. I never be negative back to anybody. Mm. And the amount of negative, what's the negativity oh, I get like, man? Isn't it? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. And all I do is there, I do a positive reply video, mm -hmm. and then they go and grasp in for bully. <laughs> 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 Aye, some, of the, some of the things you say but uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I'll make you a wee follow on TikTok as well aye. but um, TikTok's a full oh, a full fucking new label of toxicness it's that's just it's got two sides it because obviously it's good, it's good both, use, both use a platform mm. and it's obviously you've grown I, I look today and you've got 180,000 mm. followers I mean I don't even realise nah, I'm, I'm only 170k a hand <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's 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 that's amazing if it's used in the right way it is good but mm. see I'm thinking about that what you're saying about that situation obviously like 
if that was somebody who was maybe like just coming out and stuff, imagine somebody was doing that to them. Mm. And they never had the guts to actually do it. And then that could affect their feel, their nah, feel life. Their feel do you life. know what I mean? And they think it, maybe it was somebody who was maybe just coming out of whatever experiment and then that's happened and they feel the need to come back in. Mm. It's not fair. It's, it's, no, it's, it's no, no nice no. either, man. I hate it. It really is. And that's, and that is for the boat with my heart. Do you know what I mean? I've been mm. gay since I was eight. Aye. Do you know what I mean? I've always liked the boobie. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? It's never, oh, I've, never no. had, I've never had that before. Aye. And that Aye. to happen to me, what well, I'm 24 through that, I was 23 that, that time. That but for that to happen when I was 22 year old, <laughs> I'm like, uh, what the oh, fuck? No and I'm like, well, see, at the end of the day, it was fucking shit in his cell anyway because he messaged me a couple of days yeah, after the incident and he apologised and he was right. trying to sell me fake vapes on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, swing your hook. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So is it, it's mad that you've you've left like Glasgow up a car look or whatever and you've been away down to Skegness and that's mm. where you've experienced it? Aye. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Crazy, never experienced it and the amount of times I've been out in the town. Aye. Fuck me, many a time. No, I'm never dying to go to Skegness, once, man. I'm dying, dying to go. Oh no, you should. Honestly, hit me up. Maybe I'll get you free fam. I'm dying to go, man. I was down there on the railway last last year down Skegness. We Aye. were putting a new Aye. new could it still diesel change down there, I think, can it? Aye. Is it still diesel down there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is working many trains, mate. Don't get me wrong. You're going to train. There's no electrical wires on it. Oh no, it's no sign. I even look for. You, you railway men are weird, mate. Honestly, I thought fucking train channel name. Electricity. We put a new wash bay and put it that way. No, but I mean, I'm actually glad. I'm interested. So does trains actually run off diesel? You mean diesel trains? You are lying. You know. Fuck me, man. See, it's not overhead lines, right? That's what I do. I deal with overhead lines. I get nice, mate. If it's not got a a wire above it and there's no wires. Aye. It runs in demon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a good I know. Well, only thing I can tell you. Well, Diesel trains. <laughs> only thing I can tell you about the train in Skegness, rough as fuck. Is it? Right. I mean, rough, rough, rough. <laughs> like, because you either get the train to like Grantham or Newark or fucking Boston and mm. Skegness. And it is a rough fucking train. I mean, it's rough. Aye. Like, the amount of times I've travelled up and doing fourth and I have to go on that train. But don't keep relying on it. I'm not even big heated or anything like that. I get the first class train down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, that, that terminates at fucking... Um, where are we? Where are we? Fucking Nottingham. Aye. That only Aye. goes to Nottingham. And then you need to get the wee scabby number. The scheme, the scheme and I'm like, fuck me. One. And then when your train's are leaving, you get a fucking bus replacement. You're Aye. fucking stuck with Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, a fucking vibe. But they are rough, rough, it's rough trains. It's it's like dirty needles and that. Oh, the beach is quiet, the needles and all. Stunning. Is, is that no one of the... Is that <laughs> no one of the... I'm the going, going, I'm going. No, I've seen it on police interceptors, man, so I'm going. <laughs> no, honestly, it is. <laughs> That's See, what I've seen it on. I had never heard of Skegness um, until, obviously, I got the job there. I had never. And um, I was telling everybody, oh, I'm going to Skegness to work in the role like that. Ooh, what? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Scabra? I mean, no, Skegness. And they're like, fuck, fuck that's rough. And I'm telling you right now, can look where I'm fate is rougher than fucking Skegness. I'm no joking. Uh, Skegness is it's... all right, man. Scabra, right? And it's Scabra, daily but Skegness is a caravan pop we stay in. Skegness is beautiful. I'm it's going, absolutely man. stunning. Don't get me wrong. There's no many houses, it's mm-hmm. all caravans. The oh, full no. east coast it's full of is caravans. Eight, and it's full of caravans. It, and it's just brilliant. I fucking love it. Is it not one of them kind of English like, seaside towns that was for like holiday makers and all that? And then it's just pure outside it's just it's just dedicated pure to that in, now. Like, just the town. Time. Town but, Brandon because of the holiday park recently, mm-hmm. because everybody goes there and just mm-hmm. gets left to fucking rot. But the stuff you've got down there, you've got fucking aquariums, bowling alleys, oh, race cars. Oh. You name it, you've got it down there in the Built for the kind of people coming. I own holiday. Up, it is a holiday main Man. place, but see when it's out of season, mm-hmm. it's like fucking aim. We're kind of hanky. Greenock. Hamilton. No, Tunchen. fucking Govan Hill. <laughs> 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 it's, it's bad. It is bad. <laughs> see, is, I, 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 took, I took a wee man down to Haven. That's pure. Is that swearing to you, Haven? Mm. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm not really, but yeah. Haven is an amazing company and I've got some beautiful sights, mm-hmm. but. I would never work for Heath. Well, that, well that was the first time I'd ever heard your your name. Mm. Um, me and my ex, the wee man's mum, were taking the wee man down for, for his birthday. And that's what she says. She says, oh, next time if we're going to wear a game, we need to go to Skegness. I need to see Lewis. I'm like, who the oh, bless is Lewis? It's Lewis. It's like Tiffany Puth. Who is the Lewis? <laughs> <lads? laughs> no, I'm, I'm but, fucking well up for going down there, man. I, oh, no. Well, I've I'm seen going, it and it looks uh, brilliant. Well, I'm going back down on the 18th. Um, oh, fuck. How are you feeling about it? 
we need to edit that back out. No, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no. But everybody knows I'm coming back in the 18s, but there's just a few people that have no tail that I'm coming back yet. But aye. So as you were saying, yeah. Aye, so anyway, it's like they need to change the subject now. No, no, keep it the same. All right. <laughs> aye, how are you feeling about going back then? I can't wait. I'm, I'm so fucking excited because up here, I'm depressed as fuck. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Well, I'm saying you. I hate that word too because when people say, oh, I'm depressed and they're not really depressed. Aye. I'm saying I'm depressed. I'm just bored. Aye. I'm not depressed. Aye. I'm just bored like, fucking shitless. But you, like, you've come up the road for like, like kind of bad things that's happened. Obviously, your best pal and your mum. Mm. Is this the next step in grieving to feel better? Getting Aye. back to work? A hundred percent. Um See, last week I was like, no way, I could never get back to work. Mm-hmm. Know, like, I'm just on the right heat space. And then it was like an overnight hang I'm like, oh my God, no, I need to go back to work. Like, yeah. I need to do it because yeah. if I don't do it, generally, no, sure. I, I swear to God for the boat with my heart, no word to lie, no over exaggerating. I genuinely, honestly, think that I'll end up more than I will end up in the fucking yeah. in mm. the pit. And I'm no joking because it's mm. just like, see, during the day I'm fine. It's night time. The heat does yeah. overtime, and yeah. I'm fucking emotional as fuck. Do you know mm. what I mean? Really, really badly. But if I'm back to work, and my my, my hours that I do my work are crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? You start work at half past eight. You finish at half past two. You're back in for strikes and finish at twelve o'clock Jeez, at night. So. And when it's really, really busy, mm-hmm. sometimes you can finish at like two o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. And that's what I like because Aye. I'm so energetic and you're so, do you know what well. I mean? Your, your mind's constantly doing something. Aye. It's not going to a chance to get into itself and think everything that's going on. So you're Definitely. It occupied all the time. Aye, it, it just takes it all away and whatever. But do you know what's frightening for me? Mm-hmm. And I think about it all the time that I've agreed to go back to work. I'm like, what if I'm doing there for like three, four days? And then I'm like... Oh my god! I need to get back home. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I need to get back home to my dad. I need to get back home to my brothers. I need to get home. Mm. And I always doubt it myself in it, like to up to fucking accepting to go back to work. I always say to myself, "No, I'm not doing it because I know that will happen. I'll go down there for two days and want to come home." But I think I'm ready now, and okay. it's still right. very raw. I'm not going to lie; it's still mm-hmm. very raw. But mm-hmm. I think it'll do me world of good. I right. definitely That's do. That's the best thing. Go and do it, and don't be scared if you feel like that either. Mm. I mean, don't shut that feeling out. See when you start shutting feelings and emotions out, that's where the problems happen. Mm-hmm. Definitely. The best way to do is just, uh, you've got the feeling to go back, so go back, but don't mm-hmm. feel bad if you get in here and feel like, I'm not ready for this. Aye. Except and just say, well, sorry to work with that. I've came back, but I maybe need a wee bit of time longer. Mm. Because the more you get in here and having your head right, I don't want to feel like that, I don't want to feel like that, the more you've got to feel like that. Because exactly. You're constantly because it's constantly You're manifesting your it in your head, do you know what I mean? Right. You're consistently thinking mm. about that, so you're going to feel like that, do you know what I mean? It's mm. can do and just see how you feel. I think you just want to do you know what I mean? Aye. I think your days are just getting on, mate, and, and cracking on are well and truly gone. You're allowed to feel Aye. shit, aren't you? Mm-hmm. It's like everybody just kids on, I am all right, and then if all you know it, it's a shame you the medication they give you for PTSD. Oh, you make you numb. Right. You make feelings and the emotions. I know. So then when you... And then when you come after, you just don't have to fuck it out. a bricks, man. Do you know what I mean? Look, that's like... Mm-hmm. Um, sorry for changing the subject. They, no, um, no, you're all good. For PTSD. <clears throat> but it's the same with the ADHD medication. Like, I was obviously diagnosed with ADHD just no long before I right. started the high school. Um, and for all the English, it's um, it's secondary skill. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know right. what I mean? Probably um, languages. But, <laughs> And I was diagnosed before I went to high school. And when I went to high school, my first year and second year, I can't mind hang. Because I was about my right. fucking nut. Is it I was No, it's no. no. Back then it was something called Ritalin, right? right. That's what it is. But right. it is Ritalin, but they, they, they changed the name of the medication because they, they thought that Ritalin sounded as if it was like... Uh, <gasps> rattling. Like a big <laughs> rattle number, like smack. Uh, when really, right. it wasn't. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But I swear to God, I was in the class and I was like... Ah, no. It my fucking not. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it just wasn't like it get rid of my personality. I wasn't doing oh, it. Yeah. My appetite for eating was fucking bad, bad. Right. And it was actually my mo that took me off the meds. Um, I said that in that podcast with Mary. I know I've oh, seen, seen that. that. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I need a lot of water for that. But she was like, No, she nah, knows no, best. No. She no, knows no. best. It's just not my boy. Mm-hmm. But. And I've never ever wanted any medication. And don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. I still got the odd fucking letter through for the PIP, the PIP. No. Ask them to go back on the meds so I can get the money. I'm like, ah, do you know what? I'd rather fucking work than receive no. money to be on no. a medication. No. And they're like, if you go on the medication, you can get this or that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. why are you actually sending me that letter? No, like, what yes. the fuck? They're wanting you on the meds. This is, mm-hmm. I see that kind of gives me the fear, but that's the And I'm not going on the meds. Mm-hmm. I don't no. need the meds. No. no. See, yeah, well, a... sometimes. <laughs> so you, do you, uh, Two or three years ago, I ended up on antidepressants. We're talking about medication, and it was sertraline, 
I end up on for six weeks and fucking reading the pamphlet and that's what it says it's for ADHD but another reason you don't know why oh, I can't think is that what it says in it? Oh, it's really? for it. no oh, it might be that. for OCD actually why is it you came off it? I couldn't come on <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's uh, fucking coming after okay. him. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Just go with the fuck. Any, fucking I, go. You see, as you're probably guard, I, I couldn't come up a parasite moira. Which means how would I've gathered that? I don't. What's that? I don't know. It's just. I just think that is not state, and I know, like, we're going away through this big topic. They're only talking about that, <laughs> but it's not in the amount of. I, t- I don't mean to feel as uncomfortable. The amount of guys that I've been with, right, and they're mm-hmm. like, oh, I can't date because I'm I'm geared and I've been on the sniff all night and whatever. Nah. Like, what, what, what's even point then? Why did you ask me to come round? Like, why did you ask me to come round? Do you know what I mean? Aye. Fuck off. Exactly. It fucking it rattles my fucking brain. And that's just a wee, wee note for, obviously, you two that are single. And I know you're yes. married and I hope you're very happily married. Oh, I. I want to meet your wife. I want to meet aye. her. Look, like, I'll get my dinner lap made for me while I'm sound. Aye, well, uh, <laughs> as you can tell. Aye. See, well, me, me and Tierney were, were maybe pending, maybe not single. Jordan, mate, I know you're in love, right? Jordan's in love with Gemma. Just, just tell everybody. No, because I feel like a wee way in school, you've just name dropped and I'm like, yeah, you're you in say. love. I, I like it, mate. It, I'm I love single. that. He's a different no. guy and I like it. Wait, no. wait, do you, obviously, you know him and you know him. I don't know him, but... If you are, and if you feel it, like, do you know what I mean? Nah, Give everybody both hands, do you know what I mean? Know, go for it's, the um, Just don't have another feel? baba. I know, well, that's a hang in it. But what we'll, we'll days we'll have a paracetamol before it. <laughs> I mean, well, like, exactly, or a fucking sertraline, do you know what I mean? Text everybody um, to get a sertraline. <laughs> but no, definitely, and, like, I, I love, like, see, like, I love watching love, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I really, really do, like, when I watch, like, couples and that, and I just love to see it. It just really, really makes yeah. me happy. It does, yeah. but see, me... And my love life, and I know it's not about me, this podcast, but... <laughs> yes, it is. about you guys. I, but, I know, but... <laughs> but, like, I never, ever, ever see myself like that, ever. Aye. Let's settle and do me a guy. I, I just... Which it's which no for me. Stopping do you mean you don't want to settle down with a guy? No. Or do you just, you just don't think you will? You're still... I don't young. want to, and I don't you're think still, I will. You're still dead young, you know, like 24? Aye. You know what I mean? But, you're still very, very young. You've still got a lot of life to experience and enjoy. And... See... The, the the thing is like there is multiple 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 men out there. Do you know what I mean? That do you know what I mean? That why take me on the dates and that. But I just don't do it. Like mm. I just I'm no interest at all. I'd rather just Aye. go with somebody and then yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> See ya. Mm-hmm. But I thought that's how you want to live. You should live it like that. Exactly. I should never be like that. But because I'm 24 year old, do you know what I mean? It shouldn't be like that now. And what it is, and I said the exact same thing last year when I did another podcast with Mary. Mm-hmm. That it's the situations that my pals have been in. Uh, we men. Yeah. I I just don't Some get it. Bags, like the so fucking men can be so fucking toxic. I'm not saying all men are toxic. Nah, I know. But the men that I've been I've known it for my pals point of views and whatever, uh-huh. nah, it gives me the fucking fear. Do you know what Aye. I mean? And I was talking to this lovely, lovely guy um for a long, long time. And I did go on a few dates with him whatever and whatever and you know. No. did the stuff and he was so bloody nice like even when I was I wasn't even applying back to him and he, he wasn't getting angry and he wasn't like, hounding me he was just mm-hmm. but then in your space when I was messing he was like ah, why didn't you reply to that other day and I'm like mm. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, and I'm like, I just don't know how to actually. And you've got a mental block here, but I hate, I have it. It's like a wall that comes up. I'm like, I just right. don't want it. Do you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm scared. I'm all that as I am. I'm scared to let some down because if somebody breaks my fucking heart, I ends up in Cottonvale. Aye, aye. I'm aye. no joking. Oh, it's We're no Cottonvale. Nice that's, that's one thing I always say to folks: see, gain somebody the power of the power to destroy you. Mm. That's aye. that is a scary thing. Aye. See, if you're getting somebody that openness about giving them love and it can literally destroy you when they take it away. Mm-hmm. I definitely. See, see because you're, you're, you're saying for, for AJ that you come out and you've always been in control of that. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? Do you think it's like control hang? Aye, a control hang that if you were to go with somebody and they did break your heart, it's out of your control. That's scary. I know. I, think, like, I don't think anybody would ever be in my control because I'm that type of person that I'm always in control of myself and I'm always in control aye, of my mind aye. so I don't think it would be like that but me like emotional feeling aye. like if somebody was to like mm-hmm. gear all their energy in life into my life and then two days later 
I'd see them on Snapchat with somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'd commit murder. Aye. Mm -hmm. I honestly would. And that's strike me because I know I would. Mm -hmm. I'd do the fucking jail. Because mm -hmm. I'm... <laughs> Because I'm that type of person, I would, it would drag me that much or do something really, really aye. bad, do you know what I mean? Aye, no, I'm only percent. That's the world I live in social media now, but mm. when you're in a relationship, aye. it's so easy to jump on. Maybe you are now. There's no fighting for your relationship anymore. They're straight on and there's guys, or even if it's women, messaging somebody else straight after an argument, finding that false love and false mm -hmm. attention mm -hmm. on social media with somebody they've never met. I think the grass is greener uh -huh. and it's, it's, it, it ruins everything, do you know what I mean? See, yep. after, after two days with Gemma, do you know what I was doing? I was going through Instagram and any bird wear in a bikini or maybe, well, I can see you in your tits or something. I was unfollowing him. <laughs> ah, so yeah, yeah, I'm not well, getting well, to see the difference in him. What a difference. Mm -hmm. what a, a completely different guy. And I, I like it. Ah, yeah, oh, I different. love that. And, and you know, like, obviously, I don't know you inside and it like the, the boys stay, but I love that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I need to meet Gemma with this. Gemma, hello, Gemma. <laughs> Gemma, honestly, I'm looking right at... Is that my camera? Uh, yeah. Gemma, honestly, hen, I'm sat here with Officer Jordan. I love you, him. <laughs> you best take care of that boat and you Aye. best take care of her. Oh, remember, I know where you stay. Right, OK. Well, I don't really... This, this is really your house, do you know what I mean? Oh, God. If I drink Henry do that, that'll be it. I'll start exploiting hey, people. Wait, I tell you about that. Eight point two percent. You've done us every podcast. Everybody knows about your eight point two percent. Aye, but I've I've knew I've put Lewis on in the but game. But let me tell my following. Yeah, right? right, let's do it. Right, so do you do you drink this every podcast? Every podcast. Right, so Jordan drinks as horrific taste. Of <laughs> beer. It's dead bitter. It is, it's really really bitter. And do you know what puts me in mind? Yeah. I don't know about you, Glasgow boys, um, mm -hmm. but have you ever heard of a HCC can? Aye. Black one. Black one. Black one. Is that the one with the Jakey's drink? Aye. Just strong as fuck. Uh, love. <laughs> Black and silver. I'm not, I'm not giving Jakey. I'm giving him um, <laughs> princess. But no, that, that, that is the better taste that I'm getting for that. What that does it is, taste like? What? It's coming. <laughs> A HCC can. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm no joking. Is it HCC cider, but isn't it? That is. It's I think they're branded. I think it's a strong cider. Isn't it? That's a strong cider. That's the one on the Jakey's wine about the hang, maybe. No, it was triple. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was us. No, Lewis, you've, you've that actually ruined my life here. Well, <laughs> I'm not even joking, Jordan. I swear to God, that is not an eye. I don't think you, I don't know why you like that, because that's Cause bright and sparkling, fish, rich and fruity, <laughs> smooth. No, wait, no, let me say the fucking the details in the back. <laughs> Bright and sparkling, rich and fruity, smooth and rounded, medium dry. Me? <laughs> <laughs> medium rounded. <laughs> 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 I've got a sponsorship or something like this. I've got three rounded, blood. Jordan, but none of the rest of them. <laughs> 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 oh, nah. I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but see, the thing is, I drink piss water. I Aye. really, really bad. I drink, I'll drink it, honey. Do you know why you drink it? Because it's 8.2%. Oh. 8.2% and it gets you your bag. It get, I get to my bag and we're only in here for an hour and a half, so I'm like, and you yeah. can see it. You watch the deteriora deterioration <laughs> of me. I start it off all shy, you know, I'll be in and then by the next thing I'm saying, you tell my ex I love him, no, not so. Oh, well, <laughs> you're not doing that anymore. That. No, I'm not doing it at night. Well, I'm like, listen, I'll give you something for your ex. You're a slack, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and don't come for me because I've never heard you in my life, but just, you know what? Get a line. Like, no lesson. But anyway, yeah. new topic, new topic, new, new topic. topic. Right. I want to ask you as a question. Go for it. Um, so, obviously the threes, do you do this with them quite a lot, the podcast? I've done, I've done he was a guest on one. Guest right. And I've come into... Right, brilliant. Oh, so is it just Stevie. mainly you, Steve, and Paul, Steve, and Jordan? No, Stevie's usually here, but Stevie's get... Oh, you say that with Stevie. Hair I... transplant and teeth transplant. Sorry, Stevie. <laughs> is that a bald eh? Light bulb, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, um, so why did you choose me? What do you think would... Well, I, I had messaged you months ago. Mm. So I don't know, it's just that you just radiate kind of positivity, like... <sighs> seeing it these times where everybody's fucking depressed about mm -hmm. everything they can't pay their bills it's whatever's going on but it's even they go on to tiktok and they see your video and it's just a laugh mm. not, not everything in life needs to be so serious right. Right. it's exactly. the no gain a fuck but i mean my missus doesn't give a fuck and i say this all the time I, that's the right way to be but mm -hmm. and she honestly doesn't give a fuck about it. and that's i think everybody we've had on is kind of that, that way inclined mm -hmm. they mm. just don't give a fuck exactly we've all got our own lives to live haven't we uh, whether it's good or bad mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean prime example we don't give a fuck do you know what I mean that's bro, it and it should be that bro and you know 
I did, obviously, like, because before some dash you do a podcast, you do have your wee nosy bits. So I did. I did wee nosy on the, the, the YouTube and all that, and I was like, whatever. And then I was like, ah, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Uh-huh. I said to my father, I'm not doing it. <laughs> she's like, why? I'm at Gary Fultz. <laughs> I'm like Gary Fold. I'm like I fucking love Gary Bats. Do you know what I mean? I mm-hmm. love him. And do you know, see one day I was walking up Tanny Hill yeah. with my pal, and I'm walking and I'm walking. And I'm fucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucked. And I, I mean, I'm fucked. Oh. I was smoking fags walking up there. <laughs> and she's like, you can't smoke for. I'm like, <gasps> basically grasping for life. And I'm like, ah, and I thought I was dead because Gary Fold has walked down the pebble path, and I was like. Ah, and I didn't even look, I just went, and I get up to the top of the hill, up to the top of the thing, and I was like, uh, I'm raging that I didn't see how it Gary Fold, right. raging. But then, a couple of weeks ago, um, Gary messaged me personally, because mm-hmm. um, his daughter, um, she's a fan yeah. of the videos and whatever else, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, Gary, thanks so much, John, uh-huh. blah, blah. So I'm such a big fan of yours, this is whatever else, and... I wish to God that he mm. was here the new we are because yeah, that guy right. is a tonic. Do you I know what I mean? And I was, what a, oh, I don't even know how to describe him. He's what? just fucking unreal. We're going to his uh, show on Saturday. Why don't you go see if we can get him a ticket? There's still tickets for getting his green up. What for this Saturday? Aye, it's for his green up though. Is that too far? Not all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's too far when you're Lewis Wilson. <laughs> like, right, no, the only what are you doing anyway? Sat- I'm what? Saturday the 9th. I need I'm away doing... What time? Yeah. About six, seven o'clock? It's eight, seven eight o'clock. Is it? Oh, Paul, he, Paul, he's Paul, Paul's... Paul's... <gasps> oh my god, I'll be there. Main like, man? Paul. Listen, if you get me a ticket, I'll go to the bank and give you the money. No, I want money. Paul. No, I'm being serious. Is there still tickets available? Oh, yeah. They opened it up to you. i seen it already. Do you think if we, if we get Gary a shout we'll get a free ticket? I'm Mrs. Gary, the new. Oh, I'm like, hi Gary, it's me, Lewis. Um, I don't know if you can remember Mesh me last week. <laughs> um, but, um, can I get a free ticket to your show? You'll be like, ah, fuck off. <laughs> we'll wait for something to eat before it and we'll go for it. Mm. What for it? Eating's cheating, but... True. Well, Erin's I'm, I'm taking up. <laughs> Erin's coming with me, so... Is this a Me and Erin, aye. Aye. I want to meet her. Uh, she wants to meet you, she thinks you're brilliant. Well, so... I want to meet her as well. Aye. I'd say. Aye, Gemma's going or not? Gemma, she's amazing. I still can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, no... <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a big brother quote if you don't know. <laughs> just in case Gemma gets couldn't tell you last time I watched Big Brother no, I don't watch it man I can't, do you know what see last one I watched was in the bowl Jade was on it man who Jade Jade, Jade, Jade Goody. Goody. oh my god. Ah, I loved that Christ. woman man loved her see me I was I was quite young when mm-hmm. when she was on that show Aye. and I can remember it vaguely but then I had to rewatch it again because I had Aye. seen a story um, in the OK magazine and it was like this is about two years ago now and I seen a story, and it was they were talking about Jade Goody, and that she was on Big Brother. And I've always been a fan of Big yeah. Brother, but no, that time, mm. like my time, do you know what I mean? And I watched it, and I watched every single episode when she was in there, and I, I obviously seen she get your fuck too. And then the I don't know the I don't know the religion that there, but she went to another Muslim. Big Brother. Yeah. Was it the well, Muslim exactly culture? She went or she went or to that. Shapashetti, what are you on about? Because mind is that you, who she was? Is that her name? Uh, no, because mind you get chopped out. Ah, aye, aye. For, for being... Oh, know, aye, 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 right, right. But then right, I, I had watched it all, and this was only like two years ago, like mm-hmm. this, do you know what I mean? I watched it. And then I watched the, the series uh, Their Time as well, mm-hmm. which went on that different country for their big brother. Mm-hmm. And um, it was so fucking sad because aye. they tell aye. her, you know, on their live that she... Had you know, ah, the right. it, was she, it was right. absolutely vile, and that to me was no right, a, no right, a big kick in the oh, teeth towards oh. that lassie. And then I watched the wee documentary she done and broke my heart. Mm-hmm. It was, it was that really sad, right. really, really, really sad. And she is an right. icon, do you know what I mean? And I shun we fucking what's his name. Is it Bobby one? Is it Bobby? Is, it Bobby? is that Bobby his right one, name? One, he just won a, a National Television Award last Did night it? as well, aye. Good. Mm-hmm. Happy days. Because he's yeah. in the East East now. Aye. Can't stand East End, just wait. That's what you're saying about like men men on the shit and all that kind of stuff. Was that Jeff Brazier? Aye, that's was what he, was aye, Jeff, Jeff was, was he not, like, no long after she died, was he not out and. 
about and like fucking shagging about the town and all that kind Jeff of stuff. Jeff Bezos, I've never heard him. Jeff. I thought he was like a pure model guy. He was dealing with everything and all that. Because no, he's, he's, he's Sky Sports they, pundit they, now, they, man. They just split up. They just split up the member. Oh, that's they, right. She was seeing somebody else when it happened. And he kind of just, he, he came he back and seen, didn't he? Ah, that's right. She was seeing that guy, what's his name? And there was a lot of hang about him. I think it was him that she was seeing. Right, so my good man. It wasn't Jeff. Jeff and her had already split up. But he stepped in like, <gasps> for the kids. Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, I just had to think about that. I, that don't, I never knew his name was Jeff. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about now. I've just uh, actually changed his name. Is he on Sky Sports now? This is Sky Sports now. But uh, he was there and all at the, the NTEs last night. Mm-hmm. And it was quite emotional to watch. Yeah. But I thought at least he would have mentioned a wee thing about his mum. Because that's his no. biggest ac- accomplishment, uh, obviously, uh, but he never done. But I, I was upset. See, the thing is, well, let's see the big the big C, we'll not say the full word, but... Every single person, every family knows somebody, whether it's been mm-hmm. themselves or indirectly, mm-hmm. been affected. 100%. How, how have we not got a cure for that yet? There is a cure, mate. Is that the hide it all? Why have you know? I've said the same thing, like, because my money? dad's had cancer as well. Uh, money. Um, my dad's had um, throat cancer, Aye. and he was going through radiotherapy and all that. And they actually told my dad, they were like, ah, we don't know how it's going to obviously treat you. Like, mm-hmm. we don't know how you're going to react to this. Like, you might need to learn how to talk again and whatever, but there was an abstinomical result that no. my dad was actually all right after his treatment. No. He was fine. Mm. I thought, was, and this is weird to say, it's the fittest I'd have ever seen my dad no. was after his treatment. Honestly, mm. I swear to God, the fittest I've ever seen him no. and that was abstinomical. You're like, ah, no. how the so fuck? What, no. So many survive it and so many mm. don't, but she chemotherapy, chemotherapy is the only drug that a doctor even in this country prescribes they get a, a bonus payment for. And they prescribe some going to chemo. Is it? They got a bonus payment for it, oh, yes. For I watched something the other day and I had to turn that off because I'm <clears throat> of these conspiracies fry man up. And I was like, I'm not buying this and that's what they were talking about, how... That is. See, see, money, it's big but, money, big pharma. See, when you, oh, think, of people, when you think of people grieving and stuff, but... Us again, have we? Uh, no, no, no. When you, <laughs> when you think about people grieving, you're not what I think about... It's not like nice, somebody man. could have done this or somebody could nah, have done that. You've just know it's, it's just got to be... I lost, mm. I've lost a lot of family cancer. My, a lot of my, my nana, my papa... I've lost a lot of family, mm. do you know what I mean? A lot of heartache yeah. through cancer, so I don't like not even doing that and saying things like yeah. that. But it is so true, and yeah. folk just need to start seeing. Mm-hmm. There is other alternative things out there that is. But I'm not like getting it. Nah, I know, no. I know. See, I'm not really about getting it either. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, it's, and it's no nice and, leave and it I don't want to touch it's too much. It's a hard subject. It is a very hard subject. Aye. And I think lawyers have all had an experience. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Seen people deteriorate with it, do you know what I mean? Definitely. Very touchy subject, so you don't really want to get into the whole conspiracy side of things either. It's no nice. Nah, let's, I leave yeah. it out of that. When, when have we got to see new content anyway? Because. I've seen you right, mention so like, that. I do have like three or four videos already filmed for new content, but seeing that way, it's always the back of my head. I'm. I always look back, like, oh, my, my last video, so I'm like, mm. right, so that, get that, and that, get that. Like, I want to try and over, like, day well, better than that last video. Mm-hmm. And any time, I've always had that motive in my brain, and I always have done it. Mm-hmm. I've always done better than the last video that I produced. But the new, it's, I don't feel as if it's good enough. Mm-hmm. And I, it's, it's weird that way. Like, I feel like fucking J.K. Rowling. I'm like, ah, what the fuck? Did you next? Like, the box here because of everything you're going through now. Because mm. you, with ADHD, you've got a lot of creativity. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? There's a block there because of everything you're experiencing. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. It is, there's just a block there. Mm-hmm. And I do personalised videos as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, so many people message me saying, oh, my mum loves you, my cousin loves you, my yeah. dad loves you, my, my brother or whatever. Um, can you send a wee video, obviously saying happy birthday. Yeah. And I do the, the personalised videos and they last about two or three minutes and I do charge money for them. Right. I do. Well, you know, because you're getting um, all your free. So you don't charge it, in for it your does, you know It does. I mean? It takes up a lot of my time and Good. they're really, really high demand. The videos are really, you really get off on them, folks just want to keep take, 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 exactly. take. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. You've got to be hanging there where it's nose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Um, and even Dane, these personalised videos, I felt to myself like, I've not got the... Uh, no, like the bite, like the, the fucking the personality right. back there. Like, because I can sit behind that camera and come up with a part of that I've, I don't even know who's <laughs> even here, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. it's, it's weird, it's weird. I've been like that for a good couple of months now. Mm. I just, I don't know. There's nothing coming to my mind. Aye. The, 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 it just has now the creative side of it is it's just no there instead of forcing it you need to let it happen don't you ah, you've got mm-hmm. to, I suppose and when you're grieving it's going to be there will be a block there mm-hmm. because that is blocking out the whole creative side of you Aye. normally because mm-hmm. you're only going through the new you're having to process everything you've just been through mm-hmm. 
with obviously your friend and then, and then your mum and you've got everyone all the worry going back to work and all that as well so that creative box going to be there Aye. until you process everything mm-hmm. do you know what I mean and you've got to actually get through all the feelings and emotions and this is what I love saying to folk so you stay behind it get through it all Mm. Great, do whatever you've got to do. Mm. It doesn't make it any different. See when you hold all that and it's got a pressure cooker. Aye. Aye. Yeah, you know I mean? just explode, build and just explode. So why not hurt it? See, I mean? I do agree, like a lot. Like I do agree a lot, but see when I'm in company with anybody, it doesn't matter who it is or whatever. I'd, I I don't like getting in front of people. I hate it. I, I fucking hate it. I don't uh, know what it is because I don't like comfort mm-hmm. in that way. Like greeting and sobbing and hitting and going, oh, it's all right. I fucking uh, hate yeah, that. That, yeah, that nice. really, really annoys me. So uh, I tend to date in my own time. Do you know what I mean? When I date sitting watching cartoons with the rain. Uh, no. I thought it was I start greeting. Oh my God. <laughs> like, no joke, that man. right? I swear oh, to God, I was watching yeah. Annie McPhee the other day. I'm like, turtles and I started greeting. The green boys looking at me going, what the fuck's up with you? Do you know, that is so weird that you've said that. Like, because I can relate to that so much because I was watching Anna McPhee uh, um, when my best pal Kirsty and her mum's bit a couple of days ago and the way was in whatever and we're watching Anna McPhee and I was hooked and I mean hooked mm-hmm. and I mean hooked <laughs> and I was ball my balls out I was uh, like oh my god that's oh. really 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 hurt me and I don't think see if I watched that when my mum was still here I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't yeah Course, uh, right. it. So I've written like I'm very quite you're sitting emotional. With innocence, uh, a kid as well. So I was my wee three year old in that. You're sitting with that innocence. Aye. Of I mean, you're sitting. I mean, I'm no joking. I can sit and watch the cartoon with the rain, right? Mm-hmm. And he's sitting watching him. Some sad happens, it, and I just start greeting. Uh, I'm like, have you seen the Elemental? It's not. Oh my! Oh, 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 don't you agree? Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! I'm not even joking. I watched the other night their Elemental, uh, and I was at, no. like, I've got a fire strike illegal television. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't you lose, have it, you need it. You need to see allegedly. No, it doesn't. Why am I holding that? But anyway, um, I watched it. I did. I watched it the other night, and I swear to God, that touched me at all because that was dead sad with the fucking blue flame. I'm, I'm <laughs> in the fucking. I'm the fucking I'm the, no. Uh, no, it's good. It's, it's, it's a water really film, but I was here. Yeah, but see, uh, oh. after you've had a cry, whatever, you got it out. Do you feel better? You feel ten better. Do you feel better? Mm, sometimes I, sometimes. So, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I think to myself, like, why did Aye, I just have that breakdown? Oh. Why did I just create? Mm. Like, there was no need for that, but there is a need for there it. There is a need for it. You know, you're letting all the emotions out. Right? Do you know what that's got me thinking about? Let's see, this is, like, I don't know, toxic masculinity. I've seen the guys think they can't, they can't greet, they can't do anything. The jing, I guess the I was messaging you through fucking, I mean, I'm going to start greeting the fucking phone, remember? Mm. Aye. For... <laughs> Aye. Oh, uh, You've got to. I think you've got uh, to, man. I, uh, see, I'm not ashamed of it anymore. It doesn't bother me. See, I, see even, we were, it anymore, even when we were in the army, we'd be sitting in a room. Oh, you wouldn't be sitting there with me in the army. But we, we, it's, 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 you're talking about 15 boys uh, sitting in one room, no bigger than this, just all on it. And somebody would just break down and burst out greeting you, would be like, what the fuck? Next thing you know, there's about 10 of all greeting. <laughs> but Aye. everybody thinks that, oh, you, you shouldn't be greeting. You need you to need let to go. Man, you've got, and that's one oh. thing I learned is the best thing to do is let it go. I love a good I thought you were going to tell that other story about it. What, what? Ten guys in the room. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me excited. Do you know what I mean? The fuck me, but no, honestly, like, Did you definitely. Did you ever get a when you just put the baby hang me down in the foyer? We done that in the barracks and uh, was it Pennycook? Baby oil down the foyer, and then we all went up and tapped. Why did you baby oil on camp? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. So <laughs> <laughs> and then you used to fucking slide each other down the fucking, down the, what do you call well, it? Either, between right, the beds wait, and there's each a other you love. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, I don't know if I've done that for fuck's sake. Not really. It's no fucking OnlyFans. It's um, <laughs> nearly that. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm only kidding. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a story about um, the, the army barracks once. My pal, she was an army. Um, I'll mention her name because you know, it's whatever. <laughs> but um, we doing in Tadworth um, and I was doing there, I swear to God, no word to lie. In that fucking mm-hmm. vicinity and where we were, you couldn't go anywhere without seeing a guy in uh, army gear or whatever because they're in the training or whatever. I don't Aye. really know much about Aye. it. And I swear to God, no word to lie. I walked around the Tesco one day and <laughs> a bright pink a lunimous, <laughs> juicy couture onesie on and I'm like ah. I was going for plates I was actually going for plates because in my pal's accommodation she had no fucking plates oh. like, where the fuck's the plates I don't to cook me so I'm in Tesco like ah, fucking with this bright fucking Wednesday on and a wee woman at the kitchen she's like hi and I'm like <laughs> and I'm walking out and I swear to God all the guys well I'm not I'm, a couple of the guys were stood literally Ash on the trolleys watching me get into the motor and I was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I says them 
<laughs> Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, well, I was... Well, I didn't even feel uncomfortable because oh, I was like, ah, everywhere you looked, there was a guy in their, their army uniform. And right. that was a great experience for me. I loved it down there. Right. And then when I was at the, there was like a big football court thing as well. And they were mm. on training mm-hmm. and they were doing the fit. Right. But nah, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> 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 it's it's that. Amazing. And, see, it's, um, I loved it. There's, I think there's there's a there's a, a bigger, bigger kind of gay, gay community in the army as well. Aye, there is now. used to be maybe 10 years ago, it wouldn't have been accepted. Aye. But now it's, it's starting to be. No. In fact, Aye. our regiment was the first one to have the first... Um, uh, transgender? Tra- transgender women in it. Right, yeah, that's I, not so we we used to be like the the Queen's Guard, so like I the first I, first, first women first first guards well, it was guardsmen we were called, wasn't it? So first guard to wear a bearskin, first I so history, I that's not sat in it. Brilliant, man! That's absolutely amazing. It's a lot more, ex- it's a lot more accepted now. Massively, accepted. quite rightly so. Ah, it should be. See, the hang is that like. I'm not a preacher about mm-hmm. my sexuality. I never have been. Mm-hmm. I have not. I've never been one to celebrate pride or Aye. anything like that. And sorry to anybody that's watching this that does celebrate yes. it, because mm. it's just not my cup of tea. That's just, what I like. I'm you, you're not in people's face way. Um, do you know what I mean? You're I'm, not I'm in really not. Like, like, do you know what I mean? See that, and it's that, that is a really good trait. You know, uh-huh. what I mean? you know, and see if people are in your face with the sexuality. Aye. I, I couldn't care about that anyway, no, but tone it down a bit, do you know what I mean? Because like, some people do gay, the much. gays, the lesbians, the Aye, bad names, whatever, a bad name. Aye. And see, nowadays, I, I don't understand it all. Like, you could, you're either gay or you're bisexual or Aye. you're a lesbian, yeah. uh-huh. do you know what I mean? Or you're a trans male or you're yes. a trans female. See all this non-binary thing. Like, do you remember when I I don't get it. And you know, that will, see this, see me saying that, that will... Like uh, hate. That will get a hate. Oh, and right. I'm sorry, I just don't understand uh-huh. it. I've not been educated on it. Yeah. I've never really wanted to be educated on it because to me, like, you, you're either a male or a guy. You're, you're a guy, Sean. Mm-hmm. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? You've got a well, eh? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Facial hair. Well, the birds come in here. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm well fed. <laughs> well like, fed. Sean, <laughs> choose, choose to you get kicked off. Right, right. No, I'm catching on. But honestly, um, so I see it like you're either a male, you're either a female, right? right. Obviously, like, I'm a male. Mm-hmm. I've got a willy. Yep. I love having a willy. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. I don't want a fanny. No. Fanny gives me the heebie-jeebie. Hence why I'm fucking gay. <laughs> don't I don't want tits. I don't want babies. Uh, you know? Can, that's the best way I've ever heard that. Explain, here. Do you know what I mean? When you're I just gay, don't want you it. You don't want a fanny. Here. I think for when maybe when I was eight or nine, I think I was maybe gay for like, a bit because the first time I seen a porno mag in a bush, the first time I seen a <laughs> first time I seen a fanny. What the fuck is that? When oh. you start to pull the pages off, and you're like, all right, they're still together. Oh. No, but you're like, what the fuck is that? I know big labias and all that. <laughs> no, a fan. Um, but I, I've nothing against anybody. No, no waiting no, their sexuality or anything like that, oh. but. It does come a time when you're identifying as a fucking bin. <laughs> and you're like, I don't get uh, it. Do you know what I mean? I just uh, don't understand. I know. How, how can you how can you question religion because you're not educated on it, but you mm. can't question that because uh, you're not educated uh, on it. Do you know what I mean? Because you just get hated on it and it's terrible. Well, no, I would be it. That's the way the narrative's gone. The mm. minute you question it, it's got... Like, and it's got Vladimir Putin says, how can we back Point a country? Oh my God, no, listen. How can we I back a country? Putin. Can't even care oh, what no. Honestly, I track I'm, it. I'm all for Putin as well. Funny, nah, how the fuck can you back a country when you don't know what fucking toilet you're going to I'm, I'm team Putin, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm see this war in Ukraine. Ukraine. They're on holiday. Have you seen videos of Ukraine now? They're all fucking like beaches and all. I know they're fucking loving, mate. Do you know what I mean? Fucking bullshit, man. It just tells you the truth, man. It is true. In this country, you don't even know what fucking toilet you're going to I know. I know. Yes. Can I just say something about if there's um I remember my, one of my best pals Woody shout out Woody when he was coming out as gay he said there was people that kind of getting a wee bit of hate and stuff and one thing he, he says to me he says Jordan what these people don't realise is me being gay is my sexuality not my personality oh, mm. that's a good oh, see for that's any, a good, good, that's that's a good see, way, see for anybody that's watching this it's maybe got a harsh view on the gay community or anything like that like fucking get a grip no, right. right. seriously, get a grip of your life. 2020 is now, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You should have a harsh. It's, mm. And as you say, but they're putting a lot of hard things on people that are thinking aye, of, aye, they're, aye, making it, they're making it harder aye. for people mm-hmm. to be themselves mm-hmm. because of all this non binary and everything else. 
creating big arguments them that don't need to be there, do you know what uh, I mean? It's, mm. oh, the gay community were doing amazing with LGBTQ and all that, and now all of a sudden they've attached themselves to this LGBTQ. And How much hard work did you take to get that LGBTQ mm. for them to come in and mm. tarnish it in what, Aye. five years? As I said, I've never really celebrated it at all, mm-hmm. but as soon as the, the non-binary thing came about, mm-hmm. That's when I feel as if the LGBTQ community were receiving me hate um, because it was attached right, to that. It, do you know I, what I mean? And, they attached us and ruined everything. And they were like, like gays and um, lesbians, like uh, whatever, burn them and all uh, that. Like, uh, the amount of comments I read on that, like there's a lad Bible page about it. And the amount of comments I read on that, and I'm like, what the fuck? That's just no that's right there. Do you know what I mean? That just isn't normal at all. What about that Westboro Baptist Church? There's, um, I mean, some of the signs they're putting out, like, this isn't me saying this, but they're saying. In America, it's like one of these mad radical churches. Oh, they're fucking they, nuts, see, man, if there's that, like, man. if there's a funeral of somebody that's known as gay or something, they stand beside the side of the road and they say, like, uh, this, but I'm quoting here, fags will go to hell and stuff. I know. Yeah, right. it's it's see, the thing is, but, but then I've again, that's gay. when... My sister's gay, station. Mm-hmm. That doesn't affect me, because... See the word fag? I love a fucking fag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We fucking John Player Special, <laughs> we still in jail. I love a fag. Do you know what I mean? But like I get that all the time on my post, like faggot, this and that. And I hate up, saying that word too. Uh, so many kids day. that want to come out that need to see this. It's mm-hmm. going to be amazing seeing uh, you how confident you are. Uh, and mm-hmm. we're talking about stuff like that, hearing these words and how you turn it around. Like that. Obviously, uh, I'm not saying the kids smoke fags, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I kids, listen. Uh, don't smoke. Uh, <laughs> Vape. Uh, <laughs> they're not doing it anyway. You've seen these girls, man. I don't know. It's terrible. Oh. Like, see the day when I was walking to the train station, I know what? I swear to God. If I was to walk out there and get hit with a bus today, I swear down dead, I must have seen oh. about 90 vapes lying aye, aye. at the train well, station. Aye. And I was like, ah, what the fuck? And the last time I was in the train station, it was full of Wayne's. Aye. Wayne's, teenagers, whatever. And I swear to God, no word I lied, they were everywhere. Aye. All up the stairs, all up the tap canal, back of the, the canal, the bridge, back of the, of the track. Aye. They were everywhere. And I mean, the amount of vapes that I seen aye. were unreal. And I'm like, ah, you know, I like a vape. I do enjoy my vape. Yes. But... See, for a 13 year old to ask them off for a vape, oh, it disgusts ah, me. Yeah. They don't like even need to ask for the but, but, front doors are short, so they're just going in and grabbing them and running. What flavour is yours? Um, my flavour is in it. Sure mm-hmm. and the that, that is for kids. These, I mean, companies, these companies uh, targeted kids, why they've done their flavours. Because of the packaging uh, and the colour it is. So, this one is um, Kiwi Goava Passion Fruit. And uh, is it okay if I have twos on that? Uh, you can have twos on that. Mate, a guy I used to work with was addicted to Red Bull, he had a Red Bull flavoured. But as long as we've got um, a fag for after the show. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, mate. You're right. I don't oh smoke. my god. That's that's laced with cannabis. Don't smoke kids. That's <laughs> <laughs> laced with cannabis. Uh, so what are we finishing on here? You're like kinda of message to any day, like kinda of, obviously you've been through a wee bit of hard time. To your, so. your community, the ones that uh, follow you and love you and that. Because mm. obviously everybody's asking when you're back and just us back recording. Ah, I think we're going, eh? No, we're are we going. Aye, we're going. going. That's all right. <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh, oh, no, oh, I didn't realise, but um, also we've got 10 minutes to go, obviously, before the podcast ends. And the, this full podcast, and I didn't want it to be all about me. I didn't, do you know what I mean? Because I wanted to hear, like, obviously, your tune is, is that, that is tearing yeah, 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 I could remember it. Um, I wanted to hear a bit of yours as well, um, and I have done, and I'm so touched by everybody's input into these situations. And I just think what you guys do is just brilliant, because... For me, a stranger that you don't really know that well, who's mm. only had him in social right. media, is just amazing to reach out to me to let me talk about my Don't situations and journeys and whatever. And only thing I can really, really say is my journey was really, really good right up until a certain point. And mm. I doubt myself and I say, do you know what? I said, I don't think I'll ever get back to doing what I had been doing for so bloody long, like producing content and making everybody laugh and smile and you know, but losing a parent, like i.e. your mum or your dad, is possibly one of the worst things that you could yeah, I... ever, ever get through in your life. And I've lost, obviously, my wee gran, my nana, my papa, and mm-hmm. other pals and whatever. And very sad, heartbroken, you know, I really, really was. But the parent is completely, uh... completely different fate 
<clears throat> anything like that. Right. It really, really honestly is. And it's something that will save me until the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. It really, really is. And I will never get over it. That is no healing. But I, there is no healing. You just Aye. just let it deal just with it and grow and run grow. about. Aye. The grievance and that, do you know what I mean? And I'll never forget my mum. I can uh, I just I'm I will never mummy's boy man, that scales all you foot me. I was anyway. the same and that scales all you foot me. She is just she was my full world until right. she hung me and I just thought to myself, you know, it has been tough. It has been really, really mm. tough, but But you need to keep going now, don't you? Keep because going. you definitely don't because I know my mo would be up right. there fucking haunting me down if I was to sit right. and struggle right. every right. every every day. Because she was always dead pushing did encouraging to do different things and mm. she would date anything for anybody. Right. She really, really would. And I mean, she would, she was heart and soul of the party constantly all the time. Yeah. She was, my mum was just like me, mm -hmm. but a wee bit mere, politer. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she was, and she just was a soul man. She really, really was. And I didn't want to make this podcast about my mum. That, right. that wasn't the full reason why I agreed to Dana. I just wanted to speak about certain feelings and your mental health and, mm -hmm. aye, you know, aye. It's good to um, know, the people that follow you will also be looking at you and saying, look, we know Lewis is struggling, but he's coming back. Yeah, it's, it's, I've said it to you, Tierney. No, I, I, I've told Tierney a few times how much I look up to him because I know what he's mm. been through. So if you're following somebody via social media or whatever, it's good to see, but I know it sounds terrible, but the people suffer, mm. but they come back for it. Yeah. So when you come back, obviously people are going to be like, right, mm. Lewis is back in the game, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think it, and it's still not a bad thing, where you're saying you'll never go over it, you won't over, ever go over it, you but won't go over it, it, it you might, you wouldn't want to go over it, it. it'll feel you to go, I don't want to go over it, exactly, because, like, it's so silly to, mm -hmm. it's weird how like, the simplest wee hangs, makes you break down, mm -hmm. it's absolutely crazy, you know, I had a dream, a couple of nights ago, and, I love a Greg's, I love a Greg's, mm -hmm. right? I swear to God, I love a Greg's, and my mum no, knows that I love a Greg's, right. And I, I was lying in my bed and whatever, and I had a dream that I'm all come in with the Greggs, and she's like, right, wake up, you're rough as fuck, get up out of <laughs> your bed, here's your Greggs, got something in the stomach. Oh. And it was weird because I had that dream, and then I woke up, and then she wasn't there, and I was mm. like, Pure darkness. What the fuck? I'm like, what that actual fuck is that? Why is that maybe her coming to you and giving but you that wee, that that wee was, bit of thing? Uh, you know, that was, I was getting to like, what you needed. Uh, oh. Like, I, I wanted that. I, I really aye, did want that aye. to happen because that oh, did help me that day. Aye, that did help me that day. And I thought that was my mum coming to me, you know. And, oh, God, it's just fucking... You're that, I love all this for the charm, you're that stuff for the charm. See, so am I. I really am. Summer was what I mentioned as well. You ever heard of Recky? No. Recky for anxiety. It's uh, obviously Jordan announced that I was seeing somebody. Uh, do you know what I mean? So, aye. Uh, but... She says Reiki would be amazing for you if you're anxiety. Mm. So what what I get done when I was going through a really bad time that really, really helped me. It's a spiritual thing. Right. It's a healing thing. And they don't even touch you. It's like, oh, and you can feel the heat after horns and all that if you get aye. the right person to do it. Oh, do you know, same, I, I know exactly what you're talking about because I've got a pal on Instagram. Well, I'm saying a pal, but I'll ask you on Instagram. It would really, really help you with your anxiety. It would really help you. Oh, brilliant. See, I'll definitely get, look into that. Thanks see, but, very much. See, but well, obviously we're speaking about like like your mum and stuff. Is, is your dad all right? <laughs> is he? How's he? My dad is um is a lost soul. That's is the only thing I can say about my dad. He is definitely a lost soul, and my dad's got a lot of pals. So my mum and dad were never together. Aye. For my full life, mm -hmm. they, they have not. Like, I've got two mine. other brothers. I've got Alan. I've got Ross. Aye. Um, me and Alan have got the same dad. Ross has got a different dad. Um. But my mum and my dad have always remained pals. Aye. Always remained pals, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? And even me closer <clears throat> at the end, he mm -hmm. thinks. Aye. And my dad has just been an absolute godsend. He really has. Good. I don't... Oh. You're right, man. You're right. But he has been amazing. He really, mm. really has. And Aye. I just look see sometimes when he's sitting, I just sit, I sit and watch the tell and I just look at him and I'm like, oh, what a soul, like, from what a fucking soul. He's like, so and I know I'm hot and I know, and Aye. then I look at my dad, he's just fucking, Aye. he's a, he's crumpling to bits, Aye. you know. Do you know what, but Lewis, you come from a good family, you've always Aye. got good people mm -hmm. about you, so. Mm -hmm. Right. I think you know, is like further to that as well. I think your credit, you're a credit, credit to your family, to your family, family, family man, massive credit. Especially your mum, so. Mate. You're a credit yourself as well. Aye. Aye. You really are. Thanks very much. Very inspiring as well. Mm -hmm. It's good for young kids to see you in your journey and what you're doing and how you're so open and honest about it as well and how uh, mm -hmm. confident you are. 
with in your own beliefs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's good for young kids to see that, that are trying to come out, that, that they see you Aye. and say to themselves, right, that's what I want to be. I want to be Aye. that confident. Mm-hmm. I want to Aye. be in that position where it, seeing somebody like you and your TikTok following mm-hmm. and all that, this is going to help these kids. Do you know what I mean? It really Aye. will. And, and that's inspire. what I want. I've always wanted that. You will. People. You're inspiring these kids because you're out there and you're doing these funny videos and you're showing them it's Mm-hmm. Fuck everybody else, no. I'm me, mm-hmm. and I'm going to be me, no matter what anybody says, nobody's going to break me down because I'm never going to break my energy or my bubble. And this is the person I'm going to be, and Aye. kids are going to resonate with it mm-hmm. that are struggling to come out and they 100%. see your videos and they're going to go, Do you know what? Right, I'm yep. going to be like Lewis. That's exactly what they're going to sit and mm-hmm. see when they see you. Do you know what I mean? It mm-hmm. will be. If you've got anything you want to say, if you've got any, any, just the walls will be wrapping up. So if you're anything you want to say to your you're following because it's massive. Uh, just to let them know you're, you're, you're on your way back or and fight in last swab. Do you so know what I'm I saying? So I've done, um, I posted a video of the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Obviously, uh, talking about, obviously, I was coming for the, mm-hmm. the podcast today. Mm-hmm. And I'll just say it again that I'm obviously going to come back and the content that I've got in mind is just going to be a lot more stronger and a lot, a lot more, you know, um, heartfelt in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's weird to actually say it until you actually see it. It's very hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. But Maybe I'm from that time. age and I cannot wait, <laughs> honest uh-huh. to God. I really, really can't. But last of all, I just want to thank the three guys, obviously Jordan, Sean and Tierney. That is right, Anna. Oh, yes. <laughs> I always get that rang. Um, been a lovely night, honestly. It's been yeah. absolutely fantastic. Even what we happen at the back fast, you know. And <laughs> if anybody knows me, I love the back yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, but absolutely fantastic wee night. And I'm so glad to have done this because you have been lovely. Aye. Absolutely fantastic. Aye, you've been amazing, man. Um, so I, that's I'm, it. Mate, I'm so glad you came. And just one thing, like, obviously you've got this big audience to kind of like keep happy and stuff but just don't forget to look after yourself mm. right. let's see when you get back to doing this work and all that like if you need a wee bit of time out just take just it. take it just every step back right. and fucking see how you feel man yeah, definitely and yeah, you look like you had to me so we wrap it uh, just no keep being you Hint keep being inspiring mm. man don't don't anywhere, ever change who you are anywhere else is get diesel <laughs> <laughs> oh no. my god I've never actually been so Cut shocked when I feel the entire life I was actually me <laughs> shocked How did at your reaction that? on a diesel train and uh, I was fucking <laughs> went house and dying I was like oh, <laughs> yeah, what about, diesel trains yeah what about Portsmouth lovely place diesel trains <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> I feel it and I don't know why I came <laughs> just a quick one before we do wrap up this is suicide prevention week month month, month. month. Oh, month. Is that? I even know uh, that aye. so we put a wee post up with any page just as a message we say everybody please don't hesitate and message us aye, we will we will be there for you aye Tim is the same and I'm pretty sure exactly the Lewis same as me as well so um, please please don't sit here and suffer in silence we're, we're, we'll, we'll sit and happily talk shit. I'll answer man. back to anybody that messages my page and I always mm-hmm. do it's, I, I never leave anybody you know what yeah. I mean? if somebody messages me I'll speak to them nah. definitely so if anybody's struggling just reach out because this is this is going into the winter months mm-hmm. where the mental health does dip because you're going through summer into winter and then right. you've got the stress of Christmas all coming a folding Christmas everything else yeah. that's when it completely dips 100% so, uh, just reach out guys definitely. don't don't suffer in silence just we're all the, here to help just one last thing before we go can we get Got a wee ching ching of the Henry Wesson. Oh. Right, a wee ching ching of the Henry Wesson, <laughs> right. I don't know, right, I'll but that's because the HCC, it. but we'll get a ching. <laughs> <laughs> come on, boys, right, come, come on, on to your name. Oh, he's a Oh, he's a If I that's only me just realise what look as he'd push is that. That's Jordan for that. That's the gays for the sugar free. No, listen, you either want the original or the orange. It's fucking sugar free as well, isn't it? Ah, you're fucking diabetes, but that's not. Sugar free, fucking God. Sugar free, look. Do you know what? I love you. Sean, but I'm not going to teach you that. Will <laughs> <laughs> you see if you want to drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gary, well, F- Gary Folds, give us a free ticket for Lewis. Yes, yes, you Gary, get a free ticket for Lewis for Saturday night. Well, Lewis, it's been fucking brilliant. Yeah, it really amazing. has. So I thank you very much for coming on. And that's a nail on the fish.